most important. This is what I got to get. To. This is what needs to be done today, and I have to get everyone involved. And then a client will call up and be like, "Where's my job?" And guess what? Now you're taking a totally different direction. Do you ever get back to what your your original intention was? Sometimes, but not always. And I think that that's what it. I've seen that happen quite a bit. And then the frustration level gets higher and higher and higher, and the conversations don't happen. And before you know it, you have a really broken business model. But it is that it, it's we as a society to easily get redirected and distracted and don't get back. We, we lose our compass, and we don't get back to you know what's important here. But yeah, to say it, it sounds so easy. But to actually be doing it daily, it, it can be a real struggle at times. TJ, you must talk to a lot of young people who are thinking about starting a business. Yes, uh, we do. We do get involved with lean startup area as well, <clears throat> and we go through them. And basically, what we uh, our advice to them is limit your work in progress, which means avoid complex switching, avoid doing five things at the same time. Do one thing, finish that, go to the next job. Uh, because if you try to do five things at the same time, you will end up doing nothing. And the second one is uh, give some slack time. If somebody is working 100% all the time, they have no time to be creative. They have no time to breathe. So they should, without slack, there cannot be any improvement. So give them some slack time so they can come and reflect on what they're doing and even innovate. And the third one is, again, with innovation, um, have the corporate culture, even if you're a small team, it doesn't matter, that your people can fail. Because only through failure you learn. If you're always successful, you'll never learn anything. Uh, and nobody's ever always successful. So uh, yes, let them fail within certain limits, <laughs> obviously. But let them fail because failure, um, if they are not afraid, basically, they're then going to be not be afraid of trying new things. <coughs> Again, that comes to innovation and creation. And then go and read Dr. Ben's two books. <laughs> And on that note, uh, thank you all. Thank you for sharing. I, I hope